Today we'll be installing the Steeda Triax Street Short Throw Shifter on a 2024 Mustang GT. The shifter itself does fit 2015 S550s all the way up to 2024 and current S650 Mustangs with the MT82 transmission. That means whether you have a GT, an EcoBoost, a Bullet, basically anything with an MT82, that six-speed manual transmission, this shifter will reduce the throw of your shift by 30%. And that essentially is achieved by the length of the shift lever itself in comparison to the stock unit. The Steeda Street Triax Short Throw Shifter includes the reverse lockout. This is a Delrin unit that we include with the shifter so you maintain complete functionality of the reverse lockout on your manual transmission car. One thing that sets our Delrin reverse lockout apart from the factory unit is that the S550 reverse lockouts earlier on in the generation 15, 16, 2017, they were known to actually potentially fall apart or crack. Our Delrin unit is much stronger. It's a tighter fit against the shaft itself. And what that means is you'll have less NVH, less wiggling, and a stronger unit overall. This shifter also retains the factory thread pitch, meaning you can transfer your own shift knob or any aftermarket shift knob that fits the standard MT82 transmission will fit on the Steeda Street Triax Short Throw Shifter. Additionally, the shifter also retains all of your backup camera functionality, so you don't need to worry about that. This shift lever is 4140 heat treated and nickel plated steel, so you know it will stand up to the test of time and abuse that you're gonna throw at it with your MT82 transmission. And in comparison, you have an OE unit here from a 2024 Mustang that is already starting to show some signs of surface rust. And as with all of our Steeda manufactured parts that come right out of our Valdosta, Georgia facility, we offer a lifetime limited warranty. What that means, if you have any issues whatsoever with this part, please don't hesitate to reach out to us directly because we will be more than happy to back up our product and take care of you. And now that you've heard about the Steeda Street Triax Short Throw Shifter, let's get it installed on the car and see how it feels. Here are the tools required for installation. First, remove the shift knob. Then we'll need to remove these panels on either side. Just pull away and they should pop right off. Then the two screws on either side can be removed. Open up the center console and use a trim removal tool to pop off each side. Carefully lift up enough for you to get your hand under to remove this trim piece. Pulling up on the reverse lockout collar can remove this shifter boot. Then pull out the sound deadening surrounding the shifter. Then a trim removal tool can be used to get the rubber boot at the bottom out. Now technically you do not actually need to remove the shifter for installation, but we pulled it out so we can give you a better view of what needs to be done on the shifter. But if you would like to remove it like we did in the video, first loosen up the exhaust clamps, no need to remove them completely. Grab yourself a jack stand if you're under the car or a pull jack and support the transmission from the bottom and then you can remove the four bolts holding the transmission cross member on. Lower the transmission slightly. There are two mounting bolts holding the shifter bracket in place. On top of the transmission, there are also two bolts holding the shifter arm and linkage in place. Showing you the top of the transmission, here is where each of those two bolts are located. Once disconnected, you should be able to squeeze it past the drive shaft on the driver's side. Now you can remove this small O-ring. A nut or socket on one side can help in pressing out the factory roll pin. Vice grips or pliers can get the job done. You will then need to pull it out using pliers. Pull out the spring. Use a Torx T20 to remove the factory reverse lockout collar.
Then remove the lower cap of the shifter base. Be careful not to damage the gasket as it will be reused. Remove the linkage. Then the two 10 millimeter bolts holding the bushing support plate to the shifter can be removed. Now the shifter will be able to fall out from the bottom. We'll need to transfer over these two bushing cups to the new shifter, so be careful in removing them. Apply the included grease to the larger bushing first. Then push it into place on the Steeda unit and wipe away the excess grease. Then grease the smaller cup and press it into the ball. Place the new shifter into the factory housing. The part with the threaded hole will face the passenger side. The support plate can be reinstalled into place. as well as the linkage. Make sure both linkage bushings are in the correct spot. The cover plate can be reinstalled. Double check everything is working properly, and now you're ready to get it back in the car. It may help to remove the transmission cross member completely in this instance. Get both the arm and the linkage connected, as well as the two bolts that hold the shifter base bushing into place. Reinstall the cross member. And don't forget the exhaust clamps too. Then up top, we'll grease up the shifter for the lockout collar. Use the two supplied O-rings on the grooves on the shift lever. Make sure these are greased properly. Grease the inner perimeter of the Delrin lockout collar. It will go on the shifter with the open slot lined up with the threaded hole facing the passenger side. The spring can go into place now. And use the two included set screws to secure the spring in place. Tighten them down evenly and firmly against each other. Get the factory o-ring into place, as well as the anti-rattle washer. The Torx T20 bolt can go into place to secure the lockout collar. Do not use Loctite on the screw as it can prevent operation. By pulling the collar up and down, you can verify the two included o-rings were seated and greased properly. The lower rubber boot can be reinstalled now. And the shifter trim piece can go into place.
The set screws in the reverse lockout collar tighten down to hold it in place. So make sure they're adjusted correctly, then you can secure the trim down to the center console. Tighten the center console on both sides and replace the panels as well. Then reinstall the shift knob. It may seem like common sense, but we get a lot of people who have broken their shift knob by not installing it correctly. The key here is to tighten down the shift knob all the way to the point where it just stops. You don't need to crank on it. That way you can put the car in reverse, make sure the reverse lockout collar can go up high enough to actually get the car in reverse. You back the shift knob off just enough and you let it sit overnight with blue Loctite. Once installed, make sure that the reverse lockout is functioning properly and that shifting between gears feels and sounds normal. The Steeda Triax Street Short Throw Shifter is a great option for those that see a lot of street time and some occasional high performance use with their MT82 equipped Mustang. Installation itself really isn't too bad, but comment below and let us know what else you want to see us install on the 2024 Mustang. We are all ears. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe, that notification bell, and don't forget the most important thing, speed matters.